Yes guys, how are we doing? And welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over a full food shop for myself on a weekly basis. I'm gonna go over all the foods, why I have those. I'm also gonna talk about the introduction of vegetarian foods and also why I fast. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Videos coming every single Sunday, 7 p.m. UK time. And if you enjoy food style videos like this, I'm gonna put a few in the bio down below of like what I eat in a day and other videos related to nutrition. Before I go into the food shop, just a little bit of information. I'm neither cutting or bulking. I'm kind of at a calorie and maintenance at the moment. Gyms in England have been open for just over three weeks now, so my priority is to get back into training in a gym facility. You know, if you've seen the last couple of videos, I've talked about my current training split and just kind of nail the movements and get back into that flow of training. Therefore, I'm not looking at cutting down, nor am I really looking at bulking up. Uh, I just want to focus purely on performance. All the foods that you'll see today come from Tesco's. Me and Carly do a weekly shop, whether it's online or in store. And before I go through all of that, let's go straight into meal one. of absolute game changers for the eggs and toast, Himalayan salt, and also this reduced sugar ketchup. Yes, guys, so this is everything from the food shop. This is everything that I eat on a weekly basis, and I'm gonna go through everything now. There's a few items that aren't here that I would normally have, and uh, I'll go through some of those as well. So let's start off with fruit and veg. The main ones that I have are broccoli, um, which isn't here because uh, they were out, but I do have carrots, spinach. Spinach at the moment, me and Carly have been having this in smoothies, especially with the really, really hot weather. It's a fantastic way of getting your fruit and veg in, just to kind of mix it all together. Sweet potatoes, uh, I've been making some fantastic sweet potato chips with a little bit of oil and things like that at the moment. Peppers, onions, avocado, as you would have seen this morning with meal one. It's a fantastic source of fat. Um, yeah, that's all the veg. Fruit-wise, bananas. Big fan of these, the pitted sweet cherries. If you don't know, get to know. Defrost them for like 30 seconds. So nice, honestly better than normal cherries, these frozen ones. And also mixed fruits. Like I said, most of this fruit I either just have like kind of defrosted or I have in a smoothie. Let's go into um, some carbohydrates that I have. Um, rice, Uncle Ben's rice, like a kind of pre-packet. Uh, pasta as well, oatmeal. Scottish oatmeal, absolute game changer. Cereal, cocoa snaps, much better than cocoa pops. Um, the only difference is these, obviously Tesco branded, but also, also they haven't got the reduced sugar. So for a post-workout food, these are absolutely fantastic. Again, and these are also like 79p as well. Again, Tesco branded, frosted. Mate, what's happening here? Another one, Tesco branded uh, frosted flakes. Again, like literally like a pound. Have this with some Greek yogurts. What else have we got carbohydrate wise? Bread is not bad for you. We always go with the thick. Again, meal one. Big fan of the rice cakes. 90p from Tesco's. Have these with jam, but, uh, butter, jam, banana, and uh, peanut butter also. Um, let's go squares bars, got the marshmallow and the caramel and chocolate. Uh, if you're a vegetarian, um, you can't have these marshmallow ones, but these ones are a really, really good snack. Uh, super vegetarian, so really cool. 
The OG, the Kalo Dark Rice Cakes very very nice just be mindful of these each rice cake is 55 calories um, so of course if you have like four of them you know that's 200 calories plus and it hasn't even touched the size so just be mindful of that let me just go through some of the kind of vegetarian uh, protein sources that i have carly's been a vegetarian two years at the end of this year and uh, it's something that i've been including in my diet quite a lot um, i will still have kind of fish or chicken um, if I'm kind of out about, but whilst I'm at home, I purely just have uh, vegetarian sources, which for myself has been an absolute game changer. Um, feeling absolutely fantastic and been doing this last kind of six to nine months or so. I'm just going to go through a few of the choices that I have. Um, these are kind of bacon pieces, really, really nice. I think these ones you have to cook with a little bit of oil, otherwise they're a little bit dry. Also got these burgers, these are the Naked Glory. Have these with the sweet potato chips, as I was saying earlier. Really nice, if I look at protein as well, if it says on here, um, per burger is like 16 grams of protein, which is pretty cool. And then these ones from Tesco's, again, sausages. Protein-wise, uh, two sausages is about uh, just over nine grams of protein. It's not fantastic protein-wise, but some really, really good choices. I think we're really blessed now with vegetarian foods uh, and the options for us. Cool, so that is the vegetarian food, the vegetarian protein, as well as some other protein sources. Um, I have kind of whey protein and also Greek yogurt, Skya, £1.25, very, very good for an even snack. Let's go into some other bits and pieces. I'm going to go into fats now. Flax seeds, these didn't actually come from Tesco's. Uh, these were online. However, I just wanted to kind of highlight these. You know, these are fantastic. Again, put them in your smoothies. Uh, that's a really, really good source of omega free. So get yourself some flax seeds. Probably do it like Tesco's, your local supermarket. Avocado, avocado, which I've touched on. Almonds as well. A few of these in the oats. Very nice. As well as peanut butter, which I haven't got here. In the evening, I've been having a little bit more kind of oil, extra virgin olive oil with like kind of potatoes or frying a few things, purely because the majority of my foods, as you've probably seen, um, are eggs, avocado, um, almonds, those foods, yeah, of course, they're fat sources, but the majority of the rest of them have very minimal. So just kind of top it up a little bit with some of this. Eggs I've touched on, large. And then this, Hellman's, this is lighter than light mayonnaise. 11 calories per tablespoon, um, which is absolutely insane because obviously you've got the lighter one uh, and then this is lighter than light. £2.25 um very very good i'm going to show you a few kind of snacks and treats that i normally have on a weekly basis because it's all about moderation but some of these choices um kind of fall in line with the kind of the calories and macros they're not too calorie dense the cardio uh, ooh, the cardio uh light vanilla very good i think per 100 grams is only 145 calories so a really, really good choice. Been having that for a few years now. Uh, Oreos, normally you get the normal ones, but these are the double stuffed. Honestly, guys, Oreos are not basic. They are incredible. And then also a margarita pizza. Carly makes the nicest pizza, um, which puts kind of onions, balsamic vinegar on as well. You know, choices like this, guys, this is not clean, this is not necessarily healthy, but it should be in your weekly shop because of course we're all um, allowed some treats. Another, uh, another fat option as well, dark chocolate, game changer. This is 85% cocoa. Um, yeah, intense dark, really, really good. Uh, and let's go for a few final bits. Pepsi Max, whole 24 of these. Olives, again, be mindful of the fat intake because they are covered in oil. If you have a whole load of these, you know, the calories really bump up. Pop chips, barbecue or sour cream and onion, a really nice snack. Again, another nice snack, fiber ones. You probably would know, know these by now. Salted caramel, 
brownie. There's like a cinnamon one as well. Incredible. Jalapenos for our Mexican night when we have burritos. Um, mushrooms when we have pasta. Fried mushrooms are the one with a really nice pasta sauce. As you've seen this morning, some orange juice. And also, I don't actually drink this often. This is normally um, the, the milk that Carly has because she doesn't have dairy. But when I'm not having kind of skim milk, I have this really nice oatly drink. Uh, oatly drink, oatly milk. Fantastic in smoothies and other foods as well. And if you have some Frosties, these two are really, really good. And I think that is pretty much everything. Um, and that is basically, yeah, my, my whole food shop done. So that is a full food shop from me. And just quickly on fast and fast and something that I've been doing over the last four or five months. My first meal is normally around 11 o'clock in the morning. And then my last meal is sort of 8 to 8.30. So it's about sort of anywhere between 14 and 16 hour fast. And for me personally, this isn't any kind of certain reason that I've done this other than just pushing your first meal back in the day, not getting calories in too early, and purely just from a productivity point of view every single day, and also performance in the gym as well, based on my carbohydrates and my food around the gym. Fasting isn't for everyone, it has to fit in your lifestyle, it has to also fall in line with your goals, but what I would suggest is definitely try and look at pushing your first meal back. I'd be really interested to know in the comment section if you guys consume some vegetarian protein. Like I said, it's something that I've been doing over the last six to nine months so, and you know, I'm a massive, massive fan of. So let me know in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.